In just six days, Americans will decide if Republicans continue to hold Congress. Democrats need two seats in the Senate and 26 in the House. And our EWTN News Nightly exclusive national poll of weekly church-going Catholics finds that the issue of immigration is second only to the economy. Correspondent Jason Calvey brings us to the campaign trail. Republicans from Tennessee. Now the caravan is coming to Minnesota. A caravan of illegal immigrants marching on America. To Arizona's very close Senate race. Every single day, everywhere I go, people are asking me about the caravan. Every single day they're asking about what are we going to do to secure our border. Republicans promise to get tough on immigration. A wave of troops has landed at Kelly Field in San Antonio. President Trump has sent 5,200 to guard the U.S.-Mexico border by the end of the week. He says this, quote, has nothing to do with elections. He says it's because of a caravan of Central Americans walking to the United States. But former President Barack Obama accuses Republicans of stoking fear to win an election. They're trying to convince everybody to be afraid of a bunch of impoverished, malnourished refugees a thousand miles away. That, that's, the, that's the thing that, that is the most important thing in this election. Rick Jones of Catholic Relief Services in El Salvador tells me the migrants are fleeing gangs and violence. People are trying to protect their families and their children from the harm that they have at home. And we need to send a message that we're going to make sure that they're protected. That's part of what Catholic social teaching is all about, is really protecting people who are in harm's way. And if the Central Americans reach the United States? Any person who is fleeing persecution in their country of origin may present themselves at a port of entry in the United States and request asylum. They have to tell the CBP officer that they have a fear of returning to their country. But in our homeland, the ads heat up with just six days till the election. The caravan is coming. Some say criminals among them. Catholic Diocese Saturday celebrate a mass right at the border. The American Diocese of El Paso and Las Cruces and then the Mexican Diocese of Ciudad Juarez hold their annual border mass right at the wall. It's near Mount Cristo Rey. It's a tall statue of Jesus. Lauren? Uh, you told us troops are landing in Texas. So what will the National Guard be able to do on the border? Well, the, the, the troops are, are not allowed to arrest immigrants. They're not allowed to seize drugs. They're not allowed to directly stop the migrants. That's what they can't do now. But what they can do, these 5,000, more than 5,000 active duty troops joining the National Guard already doing that work, about 2,000 guardsmen already doing that work, which is here's what they can do. They can provide helicopter support for border missions. They can install concrete barriers. And they can do something as simple as fix vehicles, Lauren. Capitol Hill correspondent Jason Calvey and Jason will be on the campaign trail tomorrow. Thank you, Jason.